Sup dudes, it's Dali coming at you with another video. This time I am doing another Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening, this time being the Legendary Duelist's Immortal Destiny, so Bakora and the Supreme King uh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let's get on into this and just... Yeah. So... Oh great, now the fangirls are invading me on another YouTube channel. <laughs> Uh, bridge. So, right, classic. So you get five part. Well, you get five cards per pack. Let's uh, see if we can score a rare, i.e., an evil hero with dusted gold. So we got a Zoma the Spirit, which says special summon this card in defense position as an effect monster. Zombie Dark Level Four, attack eighteen hundred, defense fifteen hundred. This card is also still a trap. If this card is summoned this way and is destroyed by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the monster that destroyed it. So, uh, yeah, Bakora used this card in uh, Season 5 during his duel with Yugi Moto. I believe it was the version of Bakora that hid himself inside the Millennium Puzzle in Season 2, so, yeah. Uh, gimmick Puppy Drury Doll. So. Uh, if this card is in the GY, you can banish one other gimmick puppet monster from the graveyard and special summon this card. You can only use this effect of gimmick puppy dreary doll oh, once per turn. Cannot be used as material for an XC summon except for an XC summon of a gimmick puppet monster. So, uh, yep, uh, it's, from, well, it's that guy who looks like a cross between in Jaden and uh, well, Jaden's hair and. Yugi Moto's hair color. Uh, Call of the Earthbound, another Bakora card. So when an opponent wants to declare an attack, you can choose to target that attack. Uh, Predapant, well, Predaplant, Aunt Drago Stick Aplia. So it's a plant fusion in effect. Uh, one fusion monster, one dark monster. Uh, once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, place one predator counter on it, and if it's a level 2 or higher, it becomes level 1 as long as it has a predator counter. Negate any activated effects of your opponent's monsters that have predator counters. And you have a found immortal Kokopakapu. <laughs> okay, uh... So, there can only be one Earthbound monster on the field. If there is no face-up field spell card on the field, destroy this monster. Your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks, and this card can attack directly. If this card attacks an opponent's monster, or destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. So, Talon's card from uh, the Dark Signers arc in 5Ds. So... Yep. So, uh, now a dusted golden there. Let's, uh, see. Uh, I bought these at the gaming den, by the way. Hey, so it's in Basingstoke. If you guys are in the area, check it out. It's a cool place. Ace, uh, pandemic's sort of screwed tournaments, so, but they'll be getting back to that hopefully soon. So, second pack, let's see. Uh, Dark Cooling, so this is a fusion card for, well, it's a fusion and spell card for um, a, well, for evil heroes. <clears throat> so it says, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, that must be special summon with Dark Fusion, by banishing the fusion materials listed it on it from your hand and or GY. GY! This is treated as a fusion summon with Dark Fusion, so cool. Uh... Moon Dragon Quila. So, Supe and one, um, plus us uh, non tuna monsters. So, this card is targeted for an attack. Gain life points equal to, or to half of the attacking monster's attack. And if this card is on. Well, if this card on the field is destroyed, you can target one Sun Dragon Inti from your GY and special summon that target. So, Rex Goodwind card. Uh, Predoplast. So, another Predoplant. Um, card, uh, reveal any number of Predat cards in your hand, then target that number of face-up monsters your opponent controls, place one Predator counter on each one, and if you do, any one 
where any of those monsters that are level 2 or higher become level 1 as long as they have pre a predator counter. If you have where if your predator uh, monster would be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Ooh, cool! Starving Venom Fusion Dragon! So this is like Yuri's like go-to card. Uh, it's also a really good uh, sideboard card if well for fusion decks that where if you're running super polymerization then you're probably gonna want this card in your well, sideboard for very good reasons that I'm about to show you. So uh, two dark monsters on the field except tokens and considering that dark attribute monsters are the best kind of cards in the game you're gonna want this. Uh, so, if this card is fusion summoned, you can make this card gain attack equal to one opponent's special summon monster until the end of this turn. Once per turn, you can target one level 5 or higher monster your opponent controls. Until the end phase, this card's name becomes that monster's original name, and replace this effect with that monster's original effects. If this, special su well, if this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can destroy all your opponent's special summon monsters. So, basically, he has a nice board wipe, a nice attack gain effect mm, yeah and uh Supe dusk walker uh, so you can discard one card special summon this card from your hand in defense mode and you can then special summon one Supe from your hand or deck you cannot special summon monsters from on um, your extra at your turn you activate this effect except synchro monsters you can only use this effect of Supe dusk walker once per turn so, another Rex Goodwin card. Alright, final pack. Let's see what happens, huh? Come on, uh, a Dusted Gold. So, Gimmick Pup... What, uh, Gimmick Pump... Up at Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. Okay, so, it probably sat on a wall and then had a great fall. Uh, but... Its effect says that when this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon one gimmick puppet monster from your hand. You can then use this effect, but well, you can only use this effect of gimmick puppet Humpty Dumpty once per turn. Okay, so basically helps set up your XE summon. So, Predaponix. <laughs> okay, um. Yeah. Uh, once per turn, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Predator Plant monster from your hand or GY, but negate its effects, even if this card leaves the field. Once per turn during your standby phase, pay 800 life points or destroy this card. Okay. Uh, Fire and a Scatter. So, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the GY, you can target one level 5 monster in your GY and special summon that target, but its effects are, well, its effects are negated. Also send it to the G well, GY during the end phase of this turn. All right, uh, Dark Sanctuary. So Bakora's signature card. So it says if a spirit message card would be placed on your field with Destiny board, you can special summon it as a normal monster, Fiend Dark Level One Attack Zero Defense Zero instead. And if you do, it is unaffected by card effects except Destiny board. It cannot be targeted for an attack, but that uh, does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. A, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, toss a coin, and if the result is head, negate the attack, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent, earn equal to half the current attack of your opponent's monster. And, uh, then we have... Right, uh, and for the final card, so it's not, uh, Evil Hero, a Dusted Gold, pity, but it is a Predator Plant, and... Uh, Trify over item. Yeah, okay, so I might have completely missed um, that, well, the pronunciation of that name. So, um, so it's a plant fusion effect. Uh, gains, well, it needs three dark monsters on the field. Gains attack equal to the total original attack of all other monsters on the field with a predator counter. You can only use, use each of the following effects of predator plant, uh, that name. Uh, once per turn, when your opponent special summons a monster from their extra deck, egg, while well, you control oh, this fusion summon card, quick effect, egg, you can negate that summon, and if you do, destroy that monster. 
uh, if your opponent controls a monster with a predator counter, you can special summon this card from your GY in defense position. Okay, um, so... Let's give you a... That's my chair. So... Yeah. Um, so overall, whilst it doesn't give me the evil hero that I wanted, it does give me a lot of... Well, it does give me some pretty sweet pulls, I think. Uh, I'll have to take a look on TCG Player, see um, what they are worth, if I'm going to bother selling them or whatever. But, uh, yeah. Uh, nice. Nice stuff. Uh, def we're definitely going to put the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon into my side deck. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Dark Cooling. Uh, I might save that for if I decide to run evil hero cards in my hero deck. And as for the rest, rest of it, I mean... Well, we'll just have to see. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, just, it's, but this was just to let you guys know that I'm alive or whatever. And, uh, yeah, uh, check out the gaming den if you guys, guys are in, but are native to Basingstoke or in the area. And I'll see you guys in the next video.